Good morning. My name is Thomas Magallanes. We are Group 10. Our group name is J10, and the name of our product is the Bromet Electrolytics Necklace. Our team members consist of Nathan Bueno, our project manager, Jimson Karin, our documentation lead, Ernesto Olivas, our software lead, and myself, the hardware lead. We were fortunate enough to have a sponsor for our project. Our sponsor is Tom Dodson. He is president and owner of Ramit. Ramit sells electrolytics devices worldwide to those who have undergone laryngectomies. I'm going to now throw it over to Jimson, who will discuss the project overview. Hi, my name is Jimson Curian, and I'll be covering the project overview about the project, problem, need, and the solution. So, about the project. Our product is called the Electro Larynx Necklace. This device is created to enhance the quality of life for people who have had the laryngectomy procedure. With pre-existing handheld Romet devices already being sold, we wanted to improve on these devices by designing one with the same functionality but turning it into a hands-free device. Problem and Need Currently, the Electro Larynx devices on the market are very noisy and handheld. This poses an issue because they are constantly dropped. Vibration is a key source of the noise produced from these current devices, making it very difficult to hear what the person is saying. The vibration directly correlates with the volume at which the user sets the device. Additionally, the user has to, has to press the device against her neck on a specific area in order to speak. The voice that is generated is very robotic and is not desirable among those that use the device. Our solution. We redesigned the current product in the form of a necklace, where we apply speech-to-text and text-to-speech software. When powered on, the device will create a low-volume vibration, which will generate a whisper that the microphone will pick up and generate into text. From that point, it will take the text and output what the user said from the speaker. These slides will cover how we implemented the project. And I'm going to throw it over to Ernie, who will demo the project and then Nathan will cover the 3D design and look ahead slides. Greetings everyone. My name is Ernesto Olivas and I am part of the group J10. In this video I will be demoing our project. So to begin our project I am going to reset our serial monitor and now I am going to speak with the Romit device. Okay, so what just happened was I recorded using the ESP32 microphone and it went ahead and sent that transcription to a local server where our local server handles the Google API speech to text and text to speech. Within that, it creates a text file and a WAV file. So these files are going to be found on my desktop. So as I open this file, you can see that it picked up on the microphone what I was saying earlier using the Romit device, and it also created a WAV file. If I were to play that right here, it is going to output that. I am going to speak with the remote device. There we go. With that WAV file, we are going to then turn that WAV file and output it into the speaker. So to output in the speaker, we are going to run a separate Arduino code since Arduino IDE may not have been the best choice to run a WAV file. We found it best to use a previous text file transcription with the words, what are some common stocks? And we hard coded that into Arduino. What are some common stocks? What are some common stocks? What are some common stocks? What are some So as you can see, our speaker then records and outputs the previous recording. Thank you for your time. Good morning everyone. My name is Nathan Bueno and I will go over the 3D design. 
look ahead, and poster slide. So for the 3D design, we created it using Fusion 360. The device will house a speaker, like you can see in the top left image, and two Roman vibration pistons, like you can see in the bottom right. Unfortunately, when we sent it off to get printed on Monday of last week, the makerspace had carriage and alignment issues with their 3D printers, so it could not get printed before the deadline. Now, as we look ahead, and if Ramit would continue to sponsor us, we would work on getting the housing printed so we can assemble our prototype with the, with the Ramit vibration piston and speaker and PCB as soon as possible. We need real-time implementation because as of now, it can only record, get data, and output. So we need to be able to get automatic responses so that the user can have regular conversations. We want to implement user controls such as volume, power, and a wake-up method so the microphone knows when to start recording the user's voice. We need to find a more efficient way to output audio bytes because as it is right now, Arduino does not have the ability to convert audio files into an array of audio bytes without using outside applications that we know of. Lastly, we need to create a more updated and efficient PCB because the current one does not function as intended. Okay, so here we have our poster board, which gives you all the entire synopsis of our project. As you can see, it's got our block diagrams for, for hardware and software, our group members, and sponsor information, and of course, all necessary project information. Okay, this concludes our presentation. We appreciate your time. Does anyone have any questions?